It's going again, yes. Right, can everybody hear us again? Right, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, okay, we've now got it plugged in to the mains. We're not on battery, so that's what it was. What happened is, because we've been away, I normally get down here early and just do a final charge the hour or so before to make sure that the battery is fully charged. But we literally had to, um, to work up to the last minute ho at home. You can see it's, it's on pink and blue. It's plugged into the mains. That's why it went off. We're oh. again. I think ours are okay, Pete, because yeah. ours show us. Yes. On that, on the receiver, it only has one little light. It doesn't tell you how much charge is left. It gives you very little information. Right, take three. We need a clapperboard. We do have a clapperboard somewhere. Right. Where you see, we? when Pete was away, I thought I was slightly incompetent. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to blame me. I'm not blaming you at all. We were away and we only came down here half an hour ago. We didn't have time to recharge the units. I did put them on charge, Pete. Anyway, we've got lots of people watching, which is great. Good. Antoinette in Ireland. Hope we're getting oh. well with your Capri. Yes. Antoinette. Hello, Antoinette. And we've, um, we actually saw uh, two Capri owners in the last two days, didn't we, Pete? We did. And uh, who else have we got here? Tricia Lockhart. Another Capri owner. Jackie Mackie. We, we, what's a, what is a, what are four Capri owners? There should be a name, like a... <laughs> Jackie Coffin, Judy Strain is here, Claire Short. Another Capri Claire. owner. Yes. There we go, five Capri owners, yes. all, all on Facebook Live. And uh, morning to MK from good old Florida. Oh, hi MK. We're not doing very well today, MK. We've got a little battery recharge issue on our wireless Bluetooth. But we'll, we'll get around that problem now. So uh, we've got all these workshops coming up. I just wanted to say, I'm going to go back on when we were silent to our Facebook Live folks, that we've got spaces left on our Rudest Feathers and Fills next Saturday. And I did put it on our email newsletter that just went out to say, do book because uh, we don't know what's going to happen post winter here in the UK. Um, we don't know when we're going to be restarting our classes. Obviously, we'll restart them as soon as we can, but it depends on government regulations. It depends on what's going to happen post-March. We normally restart our classes in March. In previous years, that's when we've restarted them. Pete, can you let me know what the numbers were on the number of people who are coming on classes in the next month and a half? You just worked it yes. out. Yes, I did, because we've got five day classes coming up. Yeah. Um, plus we've got the two events with Linda. So there's a total of 13 days teaching. Yes between now and the end of October. Yep, 13 days. And there are 68 different people booked on those classes. 68 different people booked on long arm classes over 13 days. Now I thought that was a huge number. And one of the things I should also mention is that in this beautiful space that we have here, a beautiful showroom here in Worcestershire, that we have, we will have 14 long arms being used by 14 individuals at Linda's ambassador event, plus a demonstration machine that Linda will be standing at. That's 15 long arms being used simultaneously. And I don't know of anywhere else in Europe where there are that many long arms being used. I don't think it exists. I don't know where, you know, aside from the States, there won't be 15 long arms in that kind of this sort of size facility uh, where you can get that kind of experience. Long arm quilting, this is what we do. We specialize in this, this is what we know, this is what we love doing, and we have got the most amazing ability to be able to train people on long arm machines. That's 68 individuals coming to long arm training in the next two months. And it's a wonderful um, thing that we've got here. So we hope that you uh, enjoy the classes when you come. And if you can't come this year, we would love to see you next year. And don't forget, we've got our big academy 2022 that we're planning to do next year. And we'll let you know as soon as we've got more details. So there's clearly a demand for this because yeah. I'm pleased to say that Linda's, both Linda's teaching weeks are completely sold out. Yes. You'll be receiving an email from us today to confirm, but if you have paid your deposit, you have a confirmed place on our courses. That's right. So if you booked, you've got a place. Okay. 
which is great news. And I'm, uh, we apologize for the delay in getting back to you. Uh, we're going to run through our week and we're going to also run through some things that we learned um, and that we wanted to feed back to you on things that we found from visiting customers this week that we're going to give you uh, some little tips and tricks uh, regarding some of the feedback that we got while we, whilst we serviced our customers' machines. So some of the things that we wanted to mention to you were um, keep your boxes. Number one, keep your boxes. Do not throw your boxes away. We have one customer who's looking to trade in her machine to upgrade it, and uh, she's thrown her boxes away. Boxes cost money. They have custom foam inserts, and they cost anywhere. We have to fly them over. Big foam box with an outer. It costs money to, to uh, bring it over, and uh, we have to fly it over. Uh, we don't bring them over by ocean. Um, ocean shipments are actually unbelievably expensive at the moment. You wouldn't believe that, but they are. Um, so we actually fly them over, and it can cost anywhere between 75 and 100 pounds to replace your box. Just let you think about that. Save your box. If you have another half who wants to clear out your loft, tell them no. Put it under your frame if you need to, but definitely keep your box. If ever you need to trade up, um, you will want to, or sell on your machine. You will need to keep your box. If you need to get it serviced, you will need to get your box out of the loft or underneath, from underneath your frame and put your machine in it and we'll arrange a pickup by UPS. We did one yesterday, uh, on Thursday, we visited a lady um, up in Manchester and she had her machine picked up by UPS. We were right by her up in Manchester when we visited uh, Manchester Metropolitan University to do a service. We were literally passing pretty much by her door and we dropped off her machine for her on the way up to um, the next customer up in the Lake District. So we were able to drop it off for her, but actually we needed her box. So that was convenient. Okay. So a uh, few people saying that they've received the email already about confirming their place. I've sent out the emails confirming those people who have booked on Linda's first week. I yes. haven't sent them to those people who have booked on the second week just yet. Ran out of time before Facebook Live. But don't worry if you're on the second week you and you've booked, you have got a place and you'll be getting an email shortly. Yes. First and second week, you've all got places. How good is that? We are, we are absolutely thrilled that everybody, I mean, the numbers were absolutely spot on. It's like you all knew, you all knew. You must have all had your guardian angels looking out for you that you got your place. So we are chuffed to bits that that happened um, and that it all worked out beautifully. And the breakdown of stand up and sit downs worked absolutely fantastically. So uh, we will give you more information about the accommodation and booking for like the meals and all that kind of stuff in due course. Bear with us, we've been really out on the road, literally sitting on the Americans freeway, motorway, for a long time on Thursday. Oh yes, we sat for two hours pretty much on the M6 on Thursday. There you go, that's the M6. Um, now, if you were, uh, well, one thing we also, I wanted to mention about stock that came up. If people are watching that don't yet have a long arm, I know there are lots of people who kind of watch this Facebook Live um, that don't have long arms. We have this beautiful facility here where we do the training and if you purchase a long arm you get a, a free foundation workshop as part of your purchase. We also keep stock of long arms and we're about to receive our next delivery. So we're kind of getting rid of our stock but we still have lots of stock. We have a warehouse as big as our showroom over there through the double doors as big as this. It's full of long arm machines and long arm frames and loads of thread and our mail order dispatch area that um, our lovely Pauline who also has an Amara and is extremely good quilter. She comes, she was in this morning um, helping me to, oh, actually doing all the cutting for our classes, which has been a godsend to be honest. And she has got us all sorted with our mail order while we've been away out on the road. So she is a fantastic member of our pinhole quilting staff now. So we have a warehouse as big as that. And one of our customers that we saw on Friday said that they'd been to the Festival of Quilts, went to see, lovely chap, known very well, one of the big uh, sewing machine uh, dealers and asked him about availability of stock. They said, we haven't got any. 
haven't got any machines, can't get any for months. I also happen to know, because I chat to other manufacturers, and they said, I've literally had to order machines for two years hence. We can't get them. They're out of chips. Can't get chips, can't get screens. We don't have that problem. We have stock over there. We, you could have it next week if you wanted. So this is the difference that we've got, is that we've got a warehouse full of machines and we've got, we're just shipping machines and installing machines. It, it's not a problem. So when he came to us, this customer I'm talking about, came to us up at, uh, at the Festival of Quilts, the first thing he said was, when could we have it? I said, you can have it next week. So he did. <laughs> he ordered it at Festival of Quilts. We shipped it to him on a pallet. He literally had it the following week. He put it together and we went and did the training. There you go. So uh, this is the big difference that we've got is that we do long arms. We've got a warehouse. We keep stock. We're not having, you're not having to pay it in dollars and then pay your duty and deal with all of that and ship it in yourself. It's all C certified. You're paying in pounds. It's all including VAT. And it's an industrial machine. It doesn't use domestic needles. I went through that last week. It's industrial needles and it's, most of them are very fast machines. So this is the big difference. I think when you buy a handy quilter, you're buying a machine that lasts. It has a high residual, what we're going to call a residual value. For those who've got a, a maybe an accounting background, you know what that means. It keeps its value. These are machines built to last. Just wanted to mention that because I think this is something we perhaps have not focused on enough. And if you've got a handy quilter and maybe you've traded in and you've upgraded, you already know that your machine has retained its value. It's not like a car. When you come to trade it in, you might even have to pay to dispose of it. Not like that at all. These are machines that keep their value. And if you want to trade it in, come and talk to us. So that is a little bit about stock. Yes, we've got machines, we've got more coming in, lots more coming in. We're selling machines, a lot of machines at the moment, uh, which is why we've been so busy. Pete. Indeed, and that perhaps brings us on to that phone call that you received last Saturday morning. Yes. You interrupted your Facebook Live first thing last week. That's a beautiful segue, Pete. Because I was busy selling machines at the Harrogate Show. He was. So those of you who are watching Facebook Live last week, and I was on my own. I cut my finger, which was, oh, that's, oh, it's beautifully healed. You can't even tell. You can't even tell where that, those wadding scissors, those batting scissors that I handled, mishandled last week. And I ended up having to get the, call the first aider. I am the first aider. All of that happened moments before I went Facebook Live. That phone call, first of all, my mobile went, and it wasn't my dad. No, he, I spoke to him afterwards, and he goes, I know not to call you between 11 and 12 on a Saturday. So it's, never, it's not going to be him, right up to the point he forgets. But no, it wasn't him. And the same customer, so she left a message on my mobile, but the same customer, as you might recall, and if you haven't watched it, just watch the first five minutes. Just saying, just, you only have to watch the first five minutes. Then I went over to the answer phone because, because she phoned the landline. And then the machine started beeping at me. So I had to unplug it. Okay, it was an interesting start. Within a minute of me starting Facebook Live, I had mobile going and a beep on the answer phone. I had to unplug it. I stayed calm. I'd like to think I stayed calm. So you might like to know, who it was, Pete? Who was it? Um, a customer who, to whom I'd sold a machine at Harrogate the day before, and she get. was phoning to pay her deposit for her machine. Okay. I, t I told her that um, to get a machine allocated to her, she needed to get a deposit paid as soon as possible. So right. that's what she was trying to do. Yeah. So I, I thought I, so I didn't know this. So I phoned my mobile to retrieve the message, and the message went along the lines of this: "Hello." Um, this is, this is, I'm going to call her Helen. This is Helen. Um, and then there was a bit of a background noise and a sort of beeping. Oh, uh, this is Helen. I'd like to pay 
the deposit on Anamara. Um, excuse the noises, I'm calling from the back of an ambulance. Okay. Now, there's a few options at this point. Option one, she's the patient. No, she was not the patient. Okay. Option two, her husband was the patient. And he was lying on the gurney in the ambulance. And she might have next said, you know, I just want to put the pay payment through just in case. Just in case. Just in case something happens, maybe. No, well, it wasn't that. Okay. Option three could have been, I just want to put the deposit through. And then in the background, it might have been beep, 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 beep. Oh, I've just got to go. No, it wasn't that. Don't worry. It's fine. She's professional. No, it was option four. She's actually a nursing assistant and she was in the back of an ambulance and uh, she just left me a message to say she'd call me back. It's fine. There was no patient in the ambulance. So there we go. So I called her back. She was still in the back of an ambulance. Um, and uh, <laughs> she took the call. And at, at a more quiet time, we did the card. And uh, she's going ahead with her Amara, which is great news, isn't it? Anyway, I thought you'd like to know the update. So I will be doing a few blog posts. The outstanding blog post is on the needles. I've got all of the other thing that I did at the end of Facebook Live last week was all about the really high speed needles, the ones that we ship with the Infinity, the MR needles. And I'll be doing a drug, a blog post, a drug post, a blog post on that. And what Pete and I were talking about this, because I think it's really important that we, we kind of really get some information out there about the MR needles. And I'm going to do a blog post on that and also talk about why a straight, like a domestic machine, you might put on, you know, if somebody says, I'm just going to get a wooden quilting frame and put my machine on it, my domestic machine on it. Why is a domestic swing needle machine, like one that you could do zigzag on, why is it never as good as a straight stitch? And it never will be as good. I remember 20 years ago having a conversation with our domestic sewing machine repair engineer about that. And a straight stitch machine is always going to be better than a swing needle machine. These are a straight stitch machine. And they're set up to only do free motion quilting. So you've gone a step further. And the way we set them up with the timing is to only do this. And as I explained before, the timing is set so that it's, the hook is just touching. Plus the needles are much stronger because they're industrial needles. Plus you have the option of the MR needles, which have been designed by Gross Beckett to have an even better chance of having less needle fraying. And when I do my blog, you're going to get some diagrams on there that show you exactly why. I might not do it today. I've got to get ready for the dream big, but later in the week, I'm going to post that blog and I'm going to do an email newsletter and send you a link. I would encourage you to read it. Technical information like this is going to really help your understanding. So we're going to help you with that and to enhance your knowledge so that you understand more about how your machine works. Um, and hopefully that will, will help you. Pete, any questions? I've been, I feel like I've been talking a lot. Uh, Helen Burner is interested in your health status, Liz, as to whether you're better yet. How, how would you describe my health status, Pete? Improved. Improved. I'm, yeah, improved, but still on the mend. Yeah, I, I, am, I am better, but I, I need to get better. I'm still getting there. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit sort of, um, how would, yes, it's difficult to say really. I think, you know, when you've been really not very well 
I think it just takes you a while, doesn't it, to sort of feel a lot better. Yeah, I'm, thank you, Helen. That's kind of you to ask. I think um, yes. I need to take it a bit easy. Ideally, you could do it with a couple of days off, but there isn't time in the diary to be. I don't get days off. That's the problem, Helen. That's the problem. So I'm going to do a few demos, um, but uh, shall I do some demos first, and then we'll do a roundup of the week? Yes. Because I think I think we need to stand up and do some demos. Oh, and by the way, I'm on the nice saddle stool now. I don't look like I'm on the um, the sort of 17 hand old nag. <clears throat> there we go. This is the saddle stool that makes me look slightly less um, like I'm on the Big Bertha. I presume the Queen is a sort of side saddle version of that. Yes, the side saddle would be like this. But this is um, this is this is kind of I suppose a lot of people like this one. But this one, we both find this very comfortable, don't we? Yes, for, for extended periods of sitting. But it's not the one you want to see on Facebook Live when perhaps you're wearing a short skirt. <laughs> that's, the, that that's the fatal attraction one. Okay, moving on. Right. This demo is about full line stencils. Pete and I discuss full line stencils. We're going to get some new full line stencils in, but we've got a lot of stock of the older full line stencils. So we thought, what we want to do, move some stock through, give you a great deal. The opening offer was 20% off the full line stencils. We're going to do the same thing. This week, and this will apply to our classes too, is 20% off. So let me just do a quick, quick demo for those of you who aren't familiar, familiar, familiar with full line stencils and the pounce chalk. Pounce chalk is a very fine chalk that you can either, either iron away or pretty much it'll go away with a microfiber cloth or one of those clothes things. Let me just get that out of the drawer. No, it's not live. From 12.30. Either one of these kind of clothes things or a microfiber cloth like this. Um, what you do is with the pounce, you, f you get it in a separate bag when you get it and you need, to ref you need to fill the chamber, which is in here. And you put plenty of the chalk in here and then replace this. And then for quite a while, you're going to pound, uh, knock this until the chalk has come through to the pad and you'll need to see it. It won't come through that much initially, but you definitely need to do it quite a lot. And you need to put enough chalk in that it comes through. And then every time you use it, you just need to do that first, char charge it. You charge it. And then, doesn't matter which side you use, this is basically the blue is where it won't go through and the white is where it will go through. You lay it onto your quilt and you just, just wipe, it. wipe it over. And there it is. Beautiful. Obviously, it's not going to work on all fabrics, but actually you can see it on most. Some people get worried it's not going to work on light. You can really quite honestly, I know this is on black because we've got to see it on the Facebook Live, but you, you really can see it on a lot of fabrics, multis in particular. Let me just show you a few others. This edge to edge one, for example, these marks here enable you to use it for edge-to-edge -edge designs. So you don't always need to have edge-to-edge -edge marked from the back. You know, you don't have to use pantographs. You can use this for edge-to-edge -edge and mark it at the front and line it up, yeah, using these. So the next line down, you would mark it, you would line up that with that, that on top of that. You see this alignment mark here? Yeah. Yep. So edge to edge is great. And I just brought over from the display. And then when you want to get rid of it, just, or a hot iron. So like that just comes off. And actually, um, what did Linda do? She just kind of tapped it, didn't she, to sort of secure it. With um, these ones, let me just get run through a few of these. Beautiful pearl feathers. Can you lose the light on the Oh, Here's yeah, yeah. I'll just turn it off. Um, a good tip from Patricia there, Some, uh, sometimes the chalk has a tendency to disappear even because of the vibration spray. of the fabric. Hairspray. Even the fabric. And if you spray with any hairspray, hairspray. after you've done the pants, that helps to fix yes. it in place a little better. So that's a very good tip. Really good tip. Thank you, Tricia. So here we go. Pearl feathers. That's lovely. Fancy feather border. Can you see this? Because quite a lot of reflection. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, I can. If I lay these out and you just, bit. I'll lay them out and then you can. Rip. There we go. You're going to lose the power if so you look at pearl feathers. This one's fancy feather border, which is one of our most popular. It is. Along the way, swirl. That one's called. I'll just lay these on top, and you can come back. Um, this one is yeah. I think it's more than that. I went a bit mad. Yeah. Uh, machine quilting guide, mandala, mandala, fire flower. Lorraine Gray. Yes, I was thinking myself, Lorraine. I do think if you've got a UV light, it may help the chalk show up on the lighter yeah. fabrics. Yeah, it would. It would, and some of the machines do. So fire flower, there's a machine quilting guide, which is lovely for doing a bit like the sort of Cindy Needham. And this is good for borders. And I'll do another. So just a few of the many designs. Yeah, it's just quite nice just to see variety building blocks you see you can fill these shapes and I love these were some of the newer ones we got on this switch grass is so effective and on the back she's got examples of how that works you see and this is amazing on a modern quilt yeah, so just zoom look at that the switch grass it is you a see? nice design of switch grass so that's sort of effect you can get and, if I just flip it, flip it that's and look design. at this so these large stencils are £12, but they'll be 20% off from 12.30. Yeah, and look at this one. I love that. It's nice. Which one's that? That one is the tiger stripes. Uh, yeah, tiger stripes. tiger stripes. And this one shows what the rep uh, repetition is for an edge-to-edge -edge design, you see. And that one's um, interlocking El Dorado. Okay. There we go. So that... Is the full line stencils, 20% off for this week. So Liz, you mentioned that there were places left on the ruler, Ruler's Feathers and Pills class next yeah. weekend. Yeah, that's right. Claire Shortland has booked yet another class with us. Go Claire! We are going on holiday together next week, year because we're going to know each other so well. <laughs> and I took some, by the way, um, Claire, this is for everybody else, but Claire has got the most beautiful, her house, She's recently moved in and um, I had the most wonderful time going around Claire's house yesterday while we were up there. Well, Pete, uh, Pete was doing some work on her machine and I took some photos and I'm going to do a blog post on some of the people that we saw, including Claire. And I've got some beautiful photos of her quilt and her quilt is the Helen Godden Mushrooms that's the header for this week's Facebook Live. Yeah, that's quite Credit cool. Claire. Didn't credit Claire on the face. I was a bit in a bit of a hurry. There we go, everybody. That's Claire up in uh, it's Ellesmere, Port. Ellesmere Port. And she has the Capri. And she's doing some beautiful work on it. That wasn't done on the Capri. That was done pre-Capri, I think, wasn't it? Was that okay. done pre? Anyway, a couple, of, a couple of further tips from Linda Jackson. Yeah, Hi, Linda. good. Um, she's just saying that as far as hairspray goes, the cheaper the better. <laughs> And it just brushes away. Hold it well above and spritz the spray. Oh, because it grabs it, right? Yes. Hairspray. And she also says you can also get UV pounce powder. There you go, UV pounce powder. Right, we'll check that out, Pete. I wasn't aware of that, Linda. I knew, I knew you different colours and things, but I, we, yeah, I knew we did it. You could. That's great. So the blog on some of our visits this week. We have had an amazing week, haven't we? Can I, shall I just run through? Go ahead. Just start on Monday. So we had fantastic um, pro stitcher training. I had two pro stitcher training sessions um, with a couple of different, well, both on both got Amara. Um, and that was uh, absolutely fantastic with um, two ladies on Monday morning and afternoon. Where were you on Monday? Oh, well, well Pete was unpacking from Harrogate show. <laughs> trying to get the showroom back in some semblance of order, which we need to for tomorrow. Uh, so unpacking the Infinity, the Amara, the Capri and the Moxie, which is no mean feat because he did it all on his Todd. The, on Tuesday, he went up to uh, Solihull and installed an Amara up there. So he was a busy boy up there. 
What did I do on Tuesday? Oh yeah, God, Tuesday. Ah, Tuesday I was pretty busy. Um, went to check out the accommodation that was is for uh, Linda's event. Uh, again, um, I took over um, Abigail because Abigail does pretty much our admin for our classes because we can't do everything, obviously. And um, and we also checked out some of the uh, the restaurants and things. So we did that, and then we're planning for our Quilts for Care Leavers Days. 20th, is it 20th and the 21st, Pete? Can you just check? Oh, okay. the, the Quilts for Care Leavers Days. Now, I just want to mention this because we're going to put this up very shortly. 20th and the 21st of October, we are going to be putting up on the website. If people would like to join us, there's a local quilt group that we've got about, oh, how many people do we need? Just bear with me a moment. It's in my book. We need about... Um, eight to nine more people who are long armors. We're looking for eight to nine more people that would like to join us on the, the on both the 20th and the 21st. There is free accommodation being offered by Pauline who works here. She's got a um, lovely um, house she's offering, um, I think a couple of places. And also Sharon, who's a sit down long arm quilter, who's a lovely, lovely person as well. She lives locally in a lovely place as well. And both of them are offering accommodation. Um, you've got to love crazy dog. Um, in one of the houses, normal dog in the other. Crazy person, crazy dog. Normal person, normal dog. <laughs> oh, they do say that dogs are like their own. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a rescue, to be fair. Ozzy, Ozzy is the dog. Yes. yes, but Sharon wasn't the rescue, so I don't know what her rescue is. <laughs> right. Maybe she was. <laughs> Sharon is fantastic. She's great but fun. Ozzy was allowed to the door was left open to the lounge, possibly by Sharon's husband, and Ozzy was allowed to ret rip, let rip with an entire roll of wadding. The photos are unbelievable, put it like that. So anyway, you'd have a fun time if you came. And one of our customers, who is it down in Portsmouth? Yeah, you know, one of our customers is hopefully going to come and stay. We, you know who you are. You picked up your Amara from uh, Pauline's house, if you're watching. Um, anyway, that was Tuesday. We could have got to Tuesday. Say, say a little more about the uh, Oh, yes. Then. Oh, sorry. Yes. Just so, explain what's going on. Of course. Quilts for Care Leavers. So for those who are not familiar with the charity for a start, um, the Quilts for Care Leavers charity is a fun, uh, not charity because it's not an authorised charity, but it's, um, so it's a group that puts together the, the quilts and then quilts them. And then at the end of the year, there are uh, Christmas dinners where the children who are leaving care uh, get to choose their, a quilt that they then get to keep. Fantastic um, way of giving them, I think the fact that they get to choose when probably in their lives, they've never had a choice about anything. Um, this is their first chance to actually have a choice and they get to keep something that's for them, which is a wonderful, uh, wonderful way of doing something for them. And it's something that, you know, it's a hug. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, and these, these Christmas dinners are run in individual towns. And I saw a post on the, there's a Facebook group that you can have a look at, Quilts for Care Leavers. So it's Q4CL. Uh, Facebook group and I, I don't know as much about the details as I probably should do just because I've been so crazily busy but there are I can find out more details I will post more details and the but the day will be run here we will have 10 stand-up long arms that people will be able to put the tops on we're hoping to gather all the tops as many tops as we can here and I'll be talking to one of our customers, uh, Steph uh, Wilkinson, uh, tomorrow, because she's coming on the Dream Big Workshop, and she and I will be doing more planning. And we've been planning with the local quilt group who have put these tops together, that's Sharon and Pauline. And we met earlier this week on Tuesday, on the busy day. So we'll have 10 long arms that will be available to quilt them. Now I've run similar days at the Cotton Patch, but I did have somebody who was running the local Project Linus Day Joy Edgington, who organised it. So, and we've we've been a bit behind because I was ill. So we're a little bit behind this this year compared to where I wanted to be. But the idea is is that in those two days, we will quilt as many quilts. I have a target. I'm not going to say what it is because I'd hate to miss it. But I hope that we quilt at least as many as we did at Cotton Patch. We did 50 in a day, um, and that was bound as well. 
So the idea is that we have some people doing the binding, we have people trimming, everything, nothing's wasted, stuff gets put in pillowcases and put, you know, given to the dog's trust, uh, you know, dog beds. We've got somebody else who's making the tea and the coffee when they're taking a break from the long arming. People who don't have a long arm get shown how to do long arming because we've got fantastically experienced people who do long arming as a business. And um, we've got two very, very experienced long armers who are coming, etc. So I will be putting on our, our classes page of our website that you can book like nine or 10 people. We can still take nine or 10 people who've never, potentially never done long arming before that could come. I prefer it if you've done a bit of long arming. But if you've just received your machine, what a great experience you could have over those two days just to do stippling, but then you'll get into other things as well, you see. Come and learn on our machines. Absolutely. This is, you could have a go on an infinity. We've got the perfect person for the binding. Oh. Uh, Carolyn Clark. Carolyn, it's the 20th and the 21st of October. Yes. So, um, you know, if you fancy do, doing a bit of binding, you can use the machine as well. So yes, Carolyn. we're making this whole space available for that. Oh, Carolyn, uh, come. Oh, please. Soon. Yeah, more information. It'll be going up on our website this coming week. As soon as I've spoken to Steph to, on, on Monday, I will be posting and uh, it'll be kind of bookable as a, as a kind of like a, a, like a class can. Carolyn says, count me in. Count you in. Yes. Oh, you wonderful woman. Love you. Love you. Right. Wonderful. And uh, you can be the resident um, humorist as well. Oh, you, Carolyn, Carolyn I'm gonna, I, know, I know what your accommodation I'm going to put you in as well. Okay, fantastic. Free accommodation for you, my dear. Right. The next thing, we've done that, we've done that. Quick roundup of the other things that um, were very exciting this week is we then, oh yes, Natalie. Natalie, can I talk about Natalie? Yes. Uh, Natalie down at um, Chipping, Chipping Sodbury. Sodbury. We love Chipping Sodbury. So it's basically Pete's backyard, really, because he's a glass, glass to lad, glass to shirt, glass to shirt lad. Carolyn says she wants to be with the crazy dog lady. I thought where I was going to put you. <laughs> I wasn't going to put you anywhere else. Uh, Sheena's also said count me in. And... Fantastic. Sheena, you are in. Oh, wonderful. Oh, gosh, lovely. Lovely. We'll talk about that when you're here on Monday, Mary. Yes, absolutely. Sheena Serbs. Mary Davis. Oh, wonderful. Mary, beautiful. I'll see you 11 ish on Monday, Mary. Q4CL. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, Sheena, you could, um, you could use our Capri and try that out. Speed. Um, right, so let me tell you about Natalie. Natalie, who uh, Harmony Quilt Company, she's just moved to a beautiful new premises um, down at Chipping Sodbury. She quilts for other people, but she's opened a beautiful, literally just got it decked out, new facility. She's doing teaching and she's got her long arm. I'm going to do a blog post on it. Um, she's uh, got an Amara with Pro Stitcher. And I'm just going to do a lovely post on it because uh, she's uh, lovely, uh, got a lovely facility down there. And I just want to sort of do a little post on her because uh, she's worked very hard to get to where she's got to. And um, we just serviced her machine. Wasn't there some things that we wanted to say about, well, there's some technical things that we wanted to mention, Pete. There's a couple of technical um, well, things. She's done 30 million stitches on her three-year-old uh, Amara. 30 million and stitches, actually, yes. actually, it's stitching better than ever. I agree. So for those people who look at um, second user hand equals machines and are concerned about the stitch count, you really needn't be at all. Because they do yes. tend to work better because they're very mechanical machines. Actually, they're smoother and yes. even better when they have a bit of age with them. It's really interesting. I agree with you. And the one that we've got for sale that of anti-pro stitcher, I service that. Yes, and you said to me at the time that it's it, one of the nicest Avantis ever that you serviced, and it's I was also done 30, 30 million. million. So second user machine, that is still available at the moment. It is. The hand wheel, you know, you can really tell on that hand wheel, 
when I, after I'd oiled it and everything, I said to the customer, because she was here while I was servicing it, I just said, just feel this. And it is, it's like, it's like a knife through butter. It's absolutely beautiful. And that is 30 million stitches. It's nothing. It is nothing. So when you're looking at a second user, do not be afraid of the number of stitches. Now, uh, we had a rather arduous, arduous trip, didn't we, Pete? To tri trip to Manchester? We did. We did. We got there eventually, four and a bit hours. Doesn't normally take that long to get to Manchester, but when the motorway's closed, it does. Anyway, we get to, got to Manchester Metropolitan University. We, we're delighted because, I mean, it was six years ago that, it was over six years, wasn't it? No, it's just about six, about six, six years. about six years ago. Um, when I was at the Cotton Patch, we, we were delighted because the fashion department at, well, the embroidery, it was then the embroidery department, it's now the fashion embroidery department at Manchester Metropolitan University, um, purchased the Fusion with Pro Stitcher from us, and they have been using it really quite extensively in their curriculum for the students. So it is set up on, I mean, I haven't been to the new building there. That's great. There's a real buzz with the students. So we've got it in, we've got a machine in there. We've got a machine in at Yale at Wrexham, which is also a very exciting textile college. And we've also got one in at the um, Anglia, Anglia Ruskin, Ruskin University. So, you know, we're, we're really delighted that, that you know, Handy Quilt is really getting a presence in at some of these universities because that makes a big difference to, you know, Handy Quilt's name um, in the educational world, which I think is a very big, a very important thing to do. The, the, the machine is running beautifully and the students love it because, you know, get free motion. Um, we're hoping to develop more on the education side in terms of the digitizing in the future. So that was exciting. Um, and then we did some training, didn't we? up in Kendall and that was lovely to see Anne with her Capri so some one-on-one -on -one training to make sure that she was all happy and that was lovely I love the one-on-one -on -one training and we really made some great progress so I think Anne's going to love uh, doing the kind of quilting that she loves to do up there beautiful calm place wasn't it up in Kendall really beautiful um, installation up there so we did that and then we went and saw um, Claire and all of her beautiful creations and she's going to have so much fun on the dream big workshop tomorrow and she's going to be doing the rulers feathers and fills as well there's no stopping claire no stopping her at all and i can't wait to post the rest of those quilts that you've done claire on our blog post and i think that's it that is it i've done everything so there we are that is the 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 summary, I'm just going to summarize. We are the only specialist long arm supplier in the UK. It's what we do. This is why every Saturday we talk about long arm quilting. Whoops. And we talk a little bit about long arm quilting. Yeah, we talk about ambulances too. And other things as well. We've got our next quilt show at the Malvern Showground on the 15th to 17th of October, we'll be taking along our Infinity 26 inch long arm, we'll be taking along our Amara, we'll be taking along a Moxie, and we'll be taking on the Capri. So do come along, come along and see us, have a, lo have a go on one of our machines. If you don't have a long arm yet, if you've been hunkering after a long arm, come along and see us, we'd love to give you a demonstration, and we look forward to seeing our existing customers come along and say hello. Don't forget our 20% discount on the full line stencils will be live from 12 30 and we look forward to seeing you next saturday we will be live at 11 and a bit and for those of you who are interested in the q uh, quilts for care levers look out for it going live i will send out an email newsletter to let you know more about that event uh, because i need to tell you a, bit, a few more details about how it will be run but we look forward to particularly delighted about the people who've said that they're interested in joining us for that event it, it's a very very worthwhile thing that we're doing there i think um well i'm just delighted to be i, I really wanted to um to get involved with finishing those quilts i read um, lem Cisse's autobiography earlier this year fantastic okay pete we are done and dusted i've now to get, got to get ready the whole showroom for classes for tomorrow so i'm going to be a busy little bee have a great week everybody and you take care all right bye now <laughs>